What's going on everyone and welcome back to the channel for another Star Wars Battlefront 2 video and in this video we will be talking about episode 9 content in Battlefront 2 and we're of course going to speculate on what we could see and whether it is realistic or not. As we are getting the Rise of Skywalker content alongside episode 9 so the speculation has started and this is definitely where the fun begins. Now guys, for this video, we have a special guest on the channel by the name of The Twisted Jedi. I'm sure most of you know him. He's a Battlefront 2 YouTuber with over 18,000 subscribers. He will be discussing the maps and hero skins part of this video, whilst I discuss the reinforcements and a few other things. Now, if you guys are keen for Rise of Skywalker content in Battlefront 2, then be sure to drop a like on the video and subscribe to both my channel and Twisted's channel as we will both be covering it. And let me know in the comments below what Episode 9 content you want to see the most in Battlefront 2. But anyway, getting into it, and I will kickstart off this video with some reinforcements discussion, then I'll hand it over to Twisted, then I'll be back when he's done with some more stuff to talk about and wrap the video up. So diving on into this, and in regards to reinforcements, I think it's fair to say the speculating has been pretty strong already because we know that we will be getting some more reinforcement style options in episode 9. And I want to get the most obvious one out of the way first, that of course being the Sith Trooper. I would be very surprised if we don't see these guys come into the game, like I will actually be that confused. The Knights of Ren could also potentially be reinforcements, I just don't see them being heroes as... Yeah, it just, it wouldn't seem right to me. And they seem like they're just way too cool to leave out entirely. Now, we will of course need resistance reinforcements to match the First Order. It gets pretty hard here because we don't see much in the trailers. The only thing off the top of my head I could think of was a resistance pilot. They would be different and I think it could work. It's always been hard to think of reinforcements for the Rebels and the Resistance and it's no exception here. But hopefully there is something in the film that we don't know about yet or is yet to be revealed that can give us more options. But that is going to do it for me for now. I'm going to hand it over to Twisted to discuss some hero skins and maps and I'll be back when he's done. Hey man, I just want to say thank you so much for having me on the channel today. I am really excited for the potential Rise of Skywalker content we could be getting for Battlefront 2. And I think a few of the things that I want to mention today are possibly some hero skins that we could have seen uh, throughout the trailers that have released so far. Uh, a couple of trooper skins that may come through and even some maps. So they're the kind of things that I'm going to be discussing today. And I hope your audience likes them because I'm definitely very excited. So I'm not going to waste too much time with all the details, but I am going to breeze through all of these, starting with the hero skins and the first thing I want to talk about is Kylo Ren now yes Kylo has a couple of skins already in Battlefront 2 but we cannot ignore the awesome looking new repaired helmet that he has with the red linings all over it I think it looks amazing it would be a really cool skin in Battlefront 2 and I've already seen some people do some mods for this and they look incredible if dice could pull off a skin like this in Battlefront 2 I guarantee you could make it a legendary and everybody would be after it this skin is probably one of the coolest sequel trilogy skins we could get and I think they would do themselves a massive favor if they put this into the game. Bouncing off Kylo Ren though I think Rey seems to go back to her original outfit after The Last Jedi so I don't know if there could be too much in terms of her skins or anything that she could possibly change into but I know everyone's going to be saying this in the comments section because we all do want that dark side Rey appearance that we saw in the D23 teaser. That was crazy I know everyone like flipped out when they showed that and I think in my opinion that's probably going to be a vision and it's it's not actually going to be a big part of the movie so I don't think we'll be getting that anytime soon and on top of that if Rey's going to be constantly on the light side there's really no point in having her run around with a red lightsaber and they're going to have to do it double-ended and there's going to be a whole type of issues with like animations and making her movements different if she was to have a double-ended lightsaber so I don't think we're going to be getting Darth Rey as much as people would probably be hoping for that so that's probably one to rule out. Moving on from Rey though I think Finn could potentially get a brand new skin and the one that I'm talking about is the one we see him in most of the trailers wearing he has a tan vest on with a dark brown undershirt and he has the navy pants giving off a very Han Solo a new hope vibe I like it I think it looks really cool and I would definitely be happy paying 40,000 credits for this if they slotted it in at an epic level I'm sure a lot of people would be happy paying that as well because Finn doesn't have any other skins right now and him being one of the ones that a lot of people would probably not play so much maybe having a new skin would do that for a lot of the community and make them want to play him a little bit more just to get a bit of diversity 
Diversity. So I think Finn could have a really cool skin in this one and it's a good opportunity for Dice as well. Now I do have two more light side skins and I know the dark side skins are kind of lacking here only with Kylo Ren and that's probably what most of the community wants is more skins for the dark side but unfortunately in the Rise of Skywalker trailers that we've seen we don't really get a lot of dark side stuff. We only see really Kylo Ren. So two more light side skins I want to talk about. The first one is the old Princess Leia so General Organa. That would be really cool and it would be a really nice homage to Carrie Fisher who has passed since. I think that would be cool adding that in. Whether or not they actually do it is probably a different story but I would love to see this at some point and I know there's a lot of sequel trilogy fans that would love this as well. And speaking of older skins I think an old Lando skin would actually be really cool. We already have the skin in the game. He's currently wearing the Solo A Star Wars Story skin which we do have in the game so all you'd have to do was age the face a little bit and maybe make him a little bit chunkier and I think that's the best way to possibly do it. It doesn't seem like it would take a lot of work to do but I definitely think it would be worth it and some people would love to buy that skin. So that's going to bring a wrap to the hero skins that I want to see. There are two trooper skins that I wanted to mention and this one for infantry and one for obviously a reinforcement. The first one being for infantry which is going to be the new resistance fighters and in the rise of Skywalker it seems like there's going to be a lot of new people fighting for the resistance so I think taking the outfits from them and using that in the rise of Skywalker DLC giving us a bit of different appearances for like assault heavy officer and specialist would be really cool so you could kind of choose the new resistance as your skin and I think that would be you know put them at like 20,000 credits or something or 10,000 credits and have people buy a bunch of them that would be really cool as well and I think I could see dice doing something like that the only other skin I wanted to talk about before I get into a couple of maps that I'd like to see is the new jet trooper design for the first order and if you haven't seen this there is a really cool image of it online floating around I'm sure Ozzy will insert a picture for you guys in the video but the new jet trooper design for the first order is really really cool and I think this change would be nice to give you a bit of diversity obviously we just got the 501st clone trooper appearance for the jet trooper and that was something that I think was really well received by the community so I think the new jet trooper design for the first order would be something that would be well received as well now moving on from skins though let's talk about a couple of maps and I've only got three main ones that I would like to see there's probably 10 plus that I could have pulled out of the trailers but these were the main three that kind of stuck with me and I thought would be really cool to see in the game the first one is from the most recent Rise of Skywalker trailer, the final trailer, and that is the massive ice planet that we see this really cool scene of them flying towards. And I don't know what it's called, I don't know where it is, but it does look extremely cool. So that would be the first one that I would add to the list. I think it would be an awesome planet, but it does look like it would take a lot of work to implement it into Battlefront 2. So who knows? Maybe, maybe not, I'm not sure, but it looks like it could hold a potential galactic assault map within it. It is quite a big area, and I think they could definitely pull it off. The second one would be a Heroes vs Villains map for the remnants of the Death Star. Now here I have two options. The first one would be on top of the Death Star where we see Rey and Kylo fighting and the other option would be inside the throne room which in the most recent trailer we also see Rey and Kylo. So there's a really cool scene of them standing off. You can see Palpatine's throne in the background with the big round glass window behind it. I think this room, if you combine this and maybe even use the outside of the Death Star remnants as well and maybe you could like duck inside to get to the throne room that would be insane for a HVB map and I'm sure everyone would agree with me that they would love to play that it would be cool because it would be a throwback to the original trilogy but it would have the hints of the sequel trilogy in it I just think it would be awesome and the final one is the red forest from the first teaser trailer so the first rise of Skywalker teaser trailer we got showed Kylo Ren running towards someone stabbing someone with like the cross guard of his lightsaber and pinning them into the floor he kind of like choke slams them except from the stomach and it looks insane and the red forest background setting that is there is really cool. It kind of reminds me of the Battlefront 2015 Endor map that we got that was all on fire. If you did something like this with that red tinge to the whole map, I think a lot of people would go nuts for it and it would be a really cool galactic assault map. So fingers crossed we get something like that because I am hoping for a lot of larger maps come December. Anyways, that's going to do it for me. I'm sure Ozzy is going to continue on the video. I hope you guys liked my ideas and I will see you all later. So a massive thank you there to Twisted Jedi for discussing some interesting ideas for hero skins and maps. But now to close the video out, I'm going to have a quick discussion on some heroes we could potentially see. Now the likelihood of heroes coming with the Rise of Skywalker DLC is low, but I would not rule it out entirely given DICE's track record with hiding upcoming content or not telling us everything that's coming. And keep in mind, when The Last Jedi dropped, we did get two heroes, and this is a saga film, so there's pretty much no bigger occasion than this. 
But regardless of all of that, starting it off is Zori Bliss, who I think would be a fantastic hero slash villain. We don't quite know where her allegiances lie. We do know that she's a good friend of Poe's and they have a past, but there's some shady stuff going on there. So she'd be good to see no matter what way she ends up going in the film. Also, we could potentially see Matt Smith's character. We don't exactly know who he is. But Disney have gone out of their way to cover it up. So whoever he ends up being could be a really cool addition for either the light side or the dark side. And I of course have to mention Hux and Poe Dameron. Hux is kind of meh, but Poe would be really cool to see. We do have voice lines for Poe Dameron in Starfighter Assault. Now they either had a very good voice actor voicing Poe in Starfighter Assault or they actually got Oscar Isaac. So it would be nice to see whoever they used to adapt the voice lines for the rest of the game. He does look like he's going to get a lot to do in The Rise of Skywalker, so he would be cool to see as well. But guys, that pretty much does it for this video. So again, a big thank you to the Twisted Jedi for coming onto the channel. I did do a podcast with him a couple of weeks ago, so be sure to check that out and subscribe to him when you're over there. But that is pretty much going to do it for today's video, guys. So be sure to like if you enjoyed and subscribe for more. And as always, I'll talk to you all again real soon.